Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, I've moved to a new apartment. So today I'm going to give you a tour of my new kitchen, which I took so much effort to set up. Kitchen tour is one of my absolute favorite things to shoot because four years back, kitchen tour was the first video on my channel that actually picked up and got me a lot of subscribers. So I feel like this is my lucky video. So I'm very happy to show you my new kitchen and I hope you like it. Let's get started. On this corner of the countertop, the first thing you see is the microwave. Uh, the microwave that I have is from this company called Koryo and honestly it's a very very basic microwave. It doesn't do a lot of like fancy stuff. It is a microwave with convection but uh, we honestly just use it for heating food. Uh, so it's placed here mainly because this is super close to the plug points and then it's also uh, far away from the gas and very far away from the sink so I feel like the location is perfect. Next to the microwave is my electric kettle. Um, now electric kettle is used a lot in my house because I like to have warm water in the morning and then even when I'm cooking right I would rather add garam pani to uh, to all of the dishes I'm making because if you put cold water it uh, slows down the cooking and just like hot water is a much better thing to add and next to that I always keep a bottle of uh, water handy and this bottle I actually quite like the, the top actually has a world map on it just uh, taking my travel theme from living room to the kitchen. So this is handy because you know I, it's always better to have a bottle of water next to the kettle just quickens the whole process. Uh, next to that is my gas stove. So actually I got a new one when I moved to this apartment. The previous apartment actually had a gas stove like built into the countertop itself. Um, so obviously we couldn't get that so we had to buy a new one. This is from Glen. It's a four burner gas stop and um, what I actually like is the placement of the hobs right. Like it's not one ek ke piche ek. It's uh, there are two here and then there are two thoda sa like thoda diagonally so it makes the cooking process a little easy and this also has ignition so I don't need a lighter just fancy things I was excited about buying a gas just shows that you've grown up a little bit um, on top of the gas there is the chimney now chimney actually came with the apartment uh, so um, I didn't really have a choice on what I wanted or whatever but this is actually a really good chimney the other day I was frying something and hall me thoda bhi like no smell at all so I was very excited about it so I feel like this whole space is just gas and the chimney next to the countertop is my favorite part of the kitchen so this is where I have all the fancy stuff going on so first thing is this countertop like this is the space where I do all of my food prep when I'm like cutting shopping all the things that I have to do marinate and stuff uh, right next to the gas stove and then piche like behind the food prep area is where I have all the things that I need handy when I'm cooking so the first thing here is this uh, this cute little stuff that I got from west side it says spoons and fork and it has spoons and fork in it <laughs> and uh, this is important because you know sometimes when you're cooking you want to have spoons handy to taste stuff and basically use ke liye. next to that is my uh, kitchen towel I don't use this a lot actually I use cloth because I feel it's just a lot eco-friendly but sometimes you know some things are only clean better with a kitchen towel so I have a roll handy always next to that is the chopping stick so my chopping station is basically this uh, this one that I got from Joseph and Joseph. I got this from Homestop in Bangalore and it's sort of like a knife holder along with like a, a place to keep ladles and utensils and stuff. So um, I have all of my knives and my knives are really nice. I got all of them from um, this Japanese brand and they are so sharp, so sharp and absolutely great in quality. And what I also always keep handy is a knife sharpener because dull knives ke kaam karna is so boring in the kitchen. So I have all of my, you know, uh, spatulas and ladles and whisks and stuff here just to keep things handy. What I actually like about this is that there is a small like a spoon rest which comes at the bottom so when I'm cooking if I want to rest my ladle somewhere I can just take it off keep it on this and then wash it and put it back so I actually like that little handy stuff and behind that I have my chopping board it's really simple wooden chopping board I got this from the Ranveer Brad collection from home center it's been with me for many years and I think it's good as new. I just, I try and take care of this really well. Next to that is my corner shelf. So in this corner shelf, basically I keep stuff that I again need on a regular basis. So there's my mortar and pestle here, which is honestly like used so much in my cooking. I love crushing my garlic and adding it to stuff. It adds such a nice blast of flavor. 
and then there are these you know chavan prash and you know stuff like that which i need subah mein kabhi khana hai kuch karna hai to and then there's coffee here and lemons lemons are honestly just there for the video because i felt like it was a nice pop of color so it's just there because of that otherwise that place is empty it doesn't have anything um next to that is my favorite thing in the kitchen which is this tray i got this beautiful wooden tray from west side and um, on that i have all of my favorite things so there's this pink flower pot that i got from west side again and i i always add some real flowers to it so i've subscribed to a company in bangalore they deliver fresh flowers to your place every 15 days and i think it's just such a nice like little addition that i can have to my house for decor Next to that I have some cookbooks finally I felt like I always wanted to have a lot of cookbooks and experiment with different recipes but somehow just never ended up buying so this time I decided to buy a lot of these I have a bartender book I have a sandwich encyclopedia like this one that I have here is honestly it's a sandwich encyclopedia and it has like hundreds and hundreds of different sandwiches in it but it's just I can live on sandwiches we love sandwiches that much Next to that is uh, a candle. After Indian cooking, I feel like kitchen can smell a lot, so it's really nice to light up the candle a little bit, you know, just after you're done with the cooking. So I have this one from Bath and Body Works. It is turquoise water uh, fragrance from the White Barn collection. It is smells heavenly. And uh, then I have my oil. So I always keep oil on a coaster because it tends to leave a lot of like nasty marks on wherever you place it. So there's a coaster and then oil on it. this olive oil and then my pepper grinder so that's this tray basically just the aesthetic corner of the kitchen next to that is my bread box so this is just like a box that i got from elementary elementary is just your go to place if you want to buy aesthetic stuff for your kitchen and home so i got this and in this i always keep my bread i used to keep my bread in the fridge but what ajeeb sa like the texture changes a little bit and i don't like it so i buy small packets of bread and wo hum ek ek ya do bar mein khatam kar dete so that makes it easy and then i have my fruit bowl usually there's very little fruit in it because uh, it's full right now with like stuff in it mainly because of the video and then next to that there's this flower pot ye bas hai and then um, there's the sink so um, there's ro on top of that and then of course ro se yahan ka wire hai pani aane ke liye and this is the sink area there's this handy little like sink area organizer that i have which has like my vim liquid and hand wash and all the things that i need to do all my bartan ka cleaning here so this is the sink area i try to keep this very very clean because i feel like this is the one part of the kitchen that can actually make the kitchen look really really messy so next to the sink i have a small appliances unit here um, i have a lot of kitchen appliances and honestly there was very little space in my counter top and all of my drawers and stuff to keep all of the appliances so i got this other unit this was actually my dressing table from one of my very old apartments i got rid of the mirror and i'm reusing that as this appliances unit so uh, what i have here is my air fryer i have the soup maker i have the toaster and the food processor and the mixer these are four most commonly used uh, you know items in my kitchen and they're like i honestly thought buying so many things will be a waste of money but i've used them so much that like i've gotten har ek like ek ek paise ka worth i've like taken it out of it uh, niche there's some empty space so i have a trolley where i have all my onions and potatoes and garlic which is what you know you need handy anyway in the kitchen on top of that i have this rod i got this rod from ikea and then i have some s hooks which i have used to utilize the wall space a little bit so just for decor i have this uh, planter with like with a hanging plant in it just makes it look nice next to that is this thing that i use for grilling and roti making and stuff i have the kitchen towel i have a colander then i have um, the blender and this tiny little thing with like two plants in it again just for aesthetics but i feel like this corner looks nice and complete because of this you know wall piece that i've added next to that is my fridge this giant fridge that i bought bahut excited excitement me in the previous apartment i feel like occupies a lot of space in my new kitchen now but i still absolutely love it it has this glass door and i don't know it has ice dispenser crushed ice and stuff which i really like So uh, this is the fridge. I am not opening and showing you everything. Two reasons: it's not very organized, and I feel like it can be a whole video of its own. So this is for another time. So on the opposite side of the countertop, there was this wall, this empty wall, which is basically in the passageway to the utility area here. And the kitchen's a little small, so I didn't find enough place to keep everything while still maintaining uh, the kitchen in a way that it looks nice and open. So I decided to use all the wall space that was possible. So again, I've used the rod that I got from IKEA, and I've turned this into a tea and coffee station. 
So on one corner I have the hanging planter again because it just makes it look nice. And then I have all the mugs that I have. This one was gifted to me by Saheli. Uh, do let her know that you know you I mentioned her in my video. And then next to that are all of my this is tea, sugar, coffee, and uh, cookies and stuff that you want to have with tea and coffee. So this is sort of like my tea and coffee area, and I feel like I'm very proud of how this looks. I feel like this is a tiny little corner which makes the kitchen look really nice. So now that you have a complete sense of what my kitchen looks like, I'm now going to give you a tour inside my cabinets, which is one of my favorite things to watch when I watch other people's kitchen tour video because I'm nosy like that. So let's start with this particular cabinet, which is right on top. Uh, this is my pantry. Basically, this has all the ingredients that I need to do Indian cooking. So there's maida, dal, rajma, uh, you know, dried red chilli, basin and everything that you would imagine uh, in an Indian kitchen. I love that, you know, the bottles are nice and uniform. I don't know, I just like the colours that it adds and I would ideally want to get rid of even the doors of the cabinet because it's so nice and colourful and it feels really bad to like shut it and just let go of all the beautiful colours. On the other side, uh, I have the next, you know, over the kitchen uh, ca cabinet and this one I have used for all of my crockery. So this one, the problem was that it actually didn't have any sort of sections for plates and you know, keeping plates just a cube per egg got a little difficult for me. So I got these plate organizers from Home Center and they've actually made the space look really nice. So I have kept all my big plates, small plates here, then I have all of my bowls, glasses, measuring cup and all my glasses and bottles on top. So this is basically the crockery cabinet. Now off to Niche Wale cabinet. So this right bot below the, uh, the microwave that I have, this cabinet is more of like a pantry space again. So uh, on the top, the pantry uh, basically has stuff in the bottles which are used a lot. And then packets ke andar agar kuch bad jata hai, if there's anything left, then I have these wooden sort of boxes here and each wooden box has like leftover stuff which I seal and then keep it back again and then I put labels on it so that I know which box has what makes it easy for me to also remember ki kya hai, what is over and basically that's this space it has my atta, chawal, all the stuff that you need I've also used this over-the-counter hangers to just to create some extra space in the kitchen and then here I have kept some of my spices you guys know that I'm a big spice lover at least the OG you know subscribers of my channel would know this so I have butter chicken spice uh, garlic powder grinders and stuff things that I need to like elevate my food and on the other side I have just kept some you know like uh, the gloves that I need for the microwave the apron and everything like that now next to that there's another drawer and this is my dedicated spice drawer like I said I'm a big spice lover so I have all of the spices that I need to elevate my cooking so there's lal mirchi and garam masala and haldi and everything else that you would find in a typical Indian kitchen. This is the section that I feel like is refilled the most in my kitchen because I end up buying a lot of spices. I also make a lot of spices mixes on my own. I have a video, the link is in the description box, you can check out some of my old spice mixes as well, they're absolutely delicious. Um, next to that is the big drawer which has all of the spoons and ladles and knickknacks that you need to run the kitchen. So there's you know this brush to apply oil, there's this one which I don't know what, what it's called in English measuring cups and this tiny little tea ka ginger grater which is so cute uh, and you know just stuff like that um, niche uske i have all of my bowls and casseroles this uh, homemade paneer maker i've stopped buying paneer completely from my outside because of this i make paneer at home uh, this chopper it's actually quite handy and uh, some of my glasses and mugs so this is kind of like a random drawer and below that I basically have all of my cooking utensils so there's cooker, uh, kadhai and appe maker and you know just stuff you need to do all the cooking. Now this one here is actually a useless counter. I don't need this space. Actually I do need space in my kitchen but uh, I just don't know what to keep here. It's also not very well organized in the sense that it doesn't have shelves and stuff. So I don't know what to do with this so I just have some uh, you know pantry bottles and then I have another over the counter sort of uh, thing that I've used and this has all the clips that I use for open packets. I have kitchen towels, this uh, pink silicon mat that I use to make rotis on the countertop. Just stuff that you need to 
again run the kitchen next to that is another drawer and this one is basically more uh, you know kitchen utensil stuff so there's all the pots that i use then there's my idli maker this colander and you know just stuff like that more of things we uh, this this home this kitchen actually cooks food for 7 8 people sometimes so we do need a lot of burden and we actually have that this one part of my kitchen which is not minimalist is my utensil collection and uh, below that i have all of my you know uh, the lids that I need to use for all of my cooking utensils and just like chakla bilin and you know stuff like that and the last one is the under the sink cabinet so this one actually has the dustbin and uh, all the cleaning essentials that you need for your kitchen so I have two baskets here which has uh, you know uh, the Wim liquid that I need and you know the kitchen cleaning liquid that I need and the gas cleaner that I need garbage bags and, you know stuff like that so basically this is all organized really well because of the two baskets that I've used and then the other grey thing that you see here is basically basically my dish drying rack so after washing all the utensils I just keep it here and I organize all my uh, you know freshly cleaned butter and stuff on it so this is the under the sink cabinet and uh, yeah with that my kitchen tour is complete I hope you enjoyed watching this space I actually really like how this place has turned out the one thing that I did not like like a lot about my new apartment was the kitchen but I'm actually quite happy with the decoration and everything that I've done. Do let me know how you like this space. I feel like it is very functional. And yeah, the comment section is open. Don't forget to hit a like. And I will see you next time with probably my bedroom tour. Bye-bye.